this earth was here before us, and it will be here long after we're gone. Every living thing on it has evolved together over eons of time. And although we are part of the web of life, because we see it, we think we stand above it. From all that nature gave us, we have made a new world out of wilderness. Built great civilizations. It seemed there was nothing we could not do. Even the sky itself was not the limit. We see the symptoms of a reality we didn't expect. Have we reached the limitations of our human nature? Living here in the future's past. The concept of world as a sort of way of distinguishing between human beings and everything else has evaporated. It's very small for what it does. If you think about what we're capable of, and to think it all comes out of a little object like that. Our evolutionary impulses can be easily hijacked. One of the problems with philosophy is that it isn't just in your head. Philosophy is everywhere in built space. Including all the things I love that might be really ecologically problematic, but I love them anyways. In the life of sentient beings, desire is inevitable. Life is messy. It doesn't sound like our war cry, it doesn't sound like our song. In the past, it's been conflict with other tribes that has brought human progress such as it is. Our brains are always creating distortions. We have no direct contact with reality. We're a trial run. Emergent behavior is all around us and can be fast moving and unpredictable. We have a real love for way to feel how we want to feel faster. Energy doesn't cost dollars. It really costs energy. Energy is the currency of life. Here we discover the truth of who we really are, how we're connected to the world for better or for worse. Could the solution we're looking for be inside us? We're humankind. Ingenuity is in our DNA, and we can visualize. What kind of future would you like to see? What are you willing to contribute towards creating that future? Who knows what will happen next?